we discussed about nouns so what is a noun if you remember noun is a word that contains person place thing or an idea then we discussed about classifications of noun nouns are basically classified into four categories first proper noun and common noun second collective nouns third countable noun and uncountable nouns and fourth concrete noun and abstract nouns then we discussed first two categories of nouns that is proper noun and common noun and collective noun if you recall what is a proper noun proper noun means name of particular place person or thing and common noun means name we give in general to all person places or things let's see an example to make things clear vatsal is a good boy here vatsal is a name of particular boy so it is a proper noun while boy is a name we give in general to anyone so it is a common noun then we discussed about collective nouns collective noun refers to a group or collection of same kind of person place or things example bunch of books so bunch is a collective noun for books i hope you are clear about the two categories if you want in detail understandings and more examples please refer the previous video now we will go to the next category countable nouns and uncountable nouns so what are countable nouns countable nouns are things that we can count using numbers so if anything you can count it comes in the category of countable nouns countable nouns can be singular or plural form examples a dog a man three bags here you can see you can count dog man bags so they come in the category of countable nouns now let's look this countable nouns in form of sentences first ramesh has eight pencils how many pencils ramesh has he has eight pencils she has two dogs how many dogs she has she has two dogs now the third one is how many friends do you have you might have three friends four friends five friends 10 friends so you can count the number of friends so they come in the category of countable nouns countable nouns are basically divided into two more categories singular forms or plural forms so what are singular forms if there is one and only one person place or thing in world then we can call them as singular forms a n and the are used by using them examples a bus an orange the sun let's see the examples in this sentences the bird flew away here the bird means we are talking about only a single bird a dog is man's best friend a dog means we are talking of only a dog single dog and an apple a day keeps a doctor away how many apple we are talking here we are talking of only single apple now let's see the plural forms if there is more than one person place thing involved then we can call them as plural forms how many is used to find the quantity of plural forms singular noun is changed to plural noun 
by adding s es and ies at the end let's see examples of singular nouns and their plural forms cow its plural form is cow match has mats box has boxes and lady has ladies see the word at the end of plural forms s es and ies in the examples let's see the examples in sentences singular forms and plural forms the monkey started eating bananas its plural form the monkeys started eating bananas the bird flew away its plural form the birds flew away the thief put the javel in the bag its plural form the thieves put the javels in the bag now let's look into the another category of nouns that is uncountable nouns things that we cannot count with numbers are categorized in uncountable nouns we can use some or any with them they usually do not have any plural form examples tea water and sugar see you can see in the example you cannot count water you cannot count tea or you cannot count sugar so they come in the category of uncountable nouns now let's see some sentence examples for the same this news is very important here news is uncountable you cannot count how many news are there i love listening music here music is uncountable noun have you got any rice here rice is uncountable noun hope you are clear with the category of uncountable nouns what we learned in this video firstly we just had an overview of what we learned previously that is nouns then we recap about the two categories of noun proper noun and common noun and collective noun then we looked in the another categories of noun countable nouns and uncountable nouns and in countable nouns we saw two forms of noun singular forms and plural forms that's all in this video thanks for watching the video if you like the video please hit the like button